state okay. of Pennsylvania. And circuits being more like raising the price road maps with circles wine and spirits at stores. And he goes, you have fucking Comparing unions. them to city like, blocks. What, where did that come from? Wait, okay. what? what, what any, any time now. It was just called Math for Oh, are we studies. actually ready to go So already? Casey broke the show yet again with his college talk. Yeah, I guess he didn't did. have to. He broke it? Yeah, he got you going on whatever you guys are going on about. Can we, like, start to show it, like, a unified spot instead of just randomly like that? No, because I enjoy this a little better. <laughs> well, yeah, but it sucks. <laughs> you suck! <laughs> Wait, you already started? Yes! Oh, and not. theme song. <laughs> it's the Groovecast Podcast, a show about stuff like stupid jokes and Charlie folks and random ass topics with Casey Wes and special guests like Fred and Danny Kyle Riley Lennon. It's there, too. This is their theme song. It's pretty cool. Don't ask Wes to sing the rest cause he'll forget the words and sit right down and gather round, but not too close because they were so ugly that everyone died. <clears throat> Podcast. Very nice. Welcome to Groovecast. <laughs> I'm, I'm your host, the man in the giant blue recliner, Casey. It is pretty giant. And we start with the visual humor already. I <laughs> know! <laughs> You're just a writer, we don't need you! Uh, I literally described the chair I was in. It's a chair <laughs> the size of the room, and he looks like a little figurine sitting in a, a giant figurine. chair. I, feel I can't powerful. think of a word. I, I would like to go back over what Stacy just said. What did she say? He looks like a little what? Boof. Boof? Alright. Thanks, Dan. So if you guys know what a boof is, that's the sound of masturbation. It's the sound of life beating. Boof. <laughs> Right, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sound of someone's broken penis. Boof. I forget whose it was. It's the whoa, sound whoa, whoa. of a vasectomy. Wait, what? <laughs> that too. Anyway, welcome to Groupcast. I'm, I'm Big West. That was Casey. Hey. And who else is all here? Oh, I'm here. Lennon's here. Oh, Lennon's here. Eric, Eric is here. here. Juan's here. Juan's here. I'm not here. Stacy is not. Stacy's out. And Pod Snake is in the next room. Good. Good. He's not coming out today. <laughs> I wasn't gonna bring him out. You're damn right you were. <laughs> that was the most distracting thing ever. He was adorable. Episode. Erica's not wearing makeup and it's freaking me out. Yeah, you've never seen me without makeup. No. Yeah. At all. Your eyes are so small. <laughs> <laughs> yes, makeup makes my I said makes my hair look small. For those of you who don't know, <laughs> Erica wears a lot a lot of eyeliner. So and that's go. it. That's all I wear. Just eyeliner. she's a raccoon. I, I am a raccoon. I'm the guy with Woo! the raccoon. Yeah. <laughs> raccoon. Yeah. Oh hell. Yeah. <laughs> so there's depressing news that we should get out of the way first. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Might yeah. as well. Fucking achievement hunter did it again. <laughs> What did they? They do it his all death? the time. They talk about somebody and then they die. No, that's not what I'm talking about. That's what we did. That's not what I'm talking about. Well, what is sad news? That's a bit. What's your sad fucking news? Yeah, what is your sad news? I got laid off. Oh. I'm no longer employed, oh. so I can no longer be technically. Robin employed. Williams is dead. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I got laid off before we found out he died. So oh. when did you get laid off? Eleven thirty Monday morning. Oh, we talked about him Sunday night. Congratulations! No. Yeah, Some, well, so, I thought someone said Flubber was in the field, and then someone said you better go get Robin Williams. Can I just say that why is it that incredibly huge pieces of news happen like right after we finish a show? I know, right? Yeah, that it is. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I want to talk about this all week, and we don't get the chance to. And then it's not relevant anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I but, found out literally an hour after it happened. Really? Because yeah. Reddit is just that what? fast. Yeah. I, I found out 10 minutes after the off? first article went up. Because there's not enough work, and we have too many guys. Yeah, fucking union. And of course they go for the people who've been there longer. <laughs> Don't tell my dad. I've only been there, what I got laid off was five months and a week. I know, and like I said, they'll go for the ones that have been there longer. Yeah, the next guy what, had been there for three years, and the next two had been there since the beginning of time. <laughs> wow. They they have been able to retire for well over six years now. They put glass in for dinosaurs. Yes. <laughs> have you, have dinosaurs you ever heard of glass? For? Have, have you ever have you ever heard of the fabled okay. brontosaurus glass eye? Yeah, <laughs> they're the ones that installed that shit. Oh, okay, so you're gonna work at that other place then? Which oh, which other place? Wasn't it insurance or the something you wanted to do? No, the one that uh, sure you went in for an interview. Oh, for. oh, um, they're not returning my calls now. Then go to the damn store. I did. Oh. 
They clothe, they, they pretended to clothe. <laughs> See, your problem is exactly the same problem that I they always have when getting a job out. and or... Is when you're currently employed, they love who you're employed for and they want you then. But once your current employer lets you go, like, ah, you're not so special no more. No, I was going to say, applying for a job and or doing anything for the government. Oh. Yeah. Because I've just now finished all the clearances I need to start taking teaching classes to get on my way to becoming a teacher. Which will take much long, because Pennsylvania's wow. terrible. Okay. terrible. I was going to say longer, but my ur didn't come How out. the fuck are you a teacher at all? I have it no is, idea. It just astounds me yeah, every day. The, like I told you last... Shouldn't the ability to speak and hear? Yes. <laughs> like I told you last week after the podcast, when I am teaching, there have been times where I just tell the kids it's been a long day because I get to the point where I'm just like, blah, blah, blah. It's a long day. And this they just look at me and drink. I just say, it's been a long day, guys. I'm tired, so my speech isn't working. And they just now laugh that, off. But I say it every I, day. Yeah, now yeah, that I don't have to wake nice. up at 4 o'clock in the morning every day, I just lie awake at night and like, how the fuck? Did Erica pass her teaching exam? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't make any sense. At least I know like, someone's thinking about me. I think that's the real of the Sphinx, isn't it? <laughs> it is. How did Erica... I don't know! <laughs> we find out Pandora's box opens, fucking, like, vortex it's gets sucked in degree. and shit. <laughs> vortex there. gets sucked in. Oh no. Let's put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> Why does rocks float on lava? I'll just go live with Dr. Hershon since he can never talk either. There you go. Yeah. And a vortex sucks in. We, uh, we had a professor it's once, better than and, out. <laughs> and one day his he jumbled his words so badly, he just goes, Barbara Walters has gotten into my mouth and taken over my language. And well, I'm the only, one that, fine. And I'm the only <laughs> yeah. one that laughed at it, so that everyone started laughing at me, because I cracked up at that. That sounded way more complicated than it should have been. I just well, imagine some of the words right? get so jumbled, they start throwing up crossword puzzles. <laughs> it, I've done that before. It doesn't feel very good. It's like, paper cuts. And, yeah, it's, like <laughs> West, it's like Wes Williams' joke about the, the opposite um, Wes Williams exorcist. is a local comedian whose name is not Wes Williams. His name is not Wes. I don't care what his first name is. All, honestly, all he told us was yeah. his middle name is Will. I want to go over the joke! Okay, oh go! Jesus. Go! Go! Oh my god! Oh my god, go worse. His, his opposite exorcist joke. Oh, I love that joke. Where instead of, like, your head spins 360 degrees and you throw up pea soup, like, you just, like, throw up, like... Jelly beans. You throw up jelly beans <laughs> and, like, just... Inadvertently start knitting sweaters and doing nice things. <laughs> so, Stacy. You look in the window, or you look in the mirror, and there's like an angel. I love you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love it. You're having a fantastic day. Keep it up. And it's like, <laughs> what is this hell? <laughs> what is this heaven? <laughs> yeah. I like how you said you just start knitting sweaters, and I'm knitting a coat. At least it's not a lamp. It's the same That's thing. not a sweater. It's Jeez, the same get it right. Thing. Who's it for? Mr. Rogers would be for disappointed in you. I was gonna say it's for someone extremely tiny. Exactly. I thought it was for a dog. It looks yeah, it like, could be. It looks like a thmeed. A, a hey, what? Did you just say a sneeze? No. A for what? A what? No, a for no, what? No, I did not say it looks like a sneeze. <laughs> Man, not that looks all like all a sneeze. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That could be an extension to his joke. Ow. The Lorax. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was that's trying to say. Because it looks like just a random assortment of sleeves and... I don't understand. Oh, she's it's just making a random assort- Well, isn't that what knitting really is? Just a random assortment of holes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They well, come together eventually very, to very, make something. Very meticulous holes. I was, I was going to say... Meticulous I, holes. I've always thought... <laughs> that's my band. <laughs> <laughs> I've always thought of knitting as just like a really complicated knot. It is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, but that knocks That's why holes. I can't do it. <laughs> yeah. uh, the only thing I can think of with meticulous holes is the 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 wreck the DVD holes sequel, not starring Shia LaBeouf. They they have to dig strategic holes in the Shia desert. LaBeouf. <laughs> Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the sound of bad acting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like it. He's not acting anymore. No, oh, he's not, huh? He just gave up. He was? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why Matthew Broderick doesn't exist anymore. Because yeah, he was yeah. never acting to begin with. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Martin Mull 
has gotten to the, the point. He got that old is. as fuck real fast. <laughs> I know. He was like 40, 40, 40, 70. <laughs> have, have, you ever, have you ever seen the, the show? Say, that's how Obama ended up. I know, right? Yeah. He just looked really old. Well, that's Most what happens to every president. Yeah. I mean, George yeah. Bush went from gray hair to white in like a week. Yeah. 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 Have, <laughs> has anyone ever seen the Seth Green show yeah. Dads? No. Uh, look, well, I, I saw like two episodes. It, it looks was stupid. Shitty. It's yeah. good. I I enjoyed it. Really? Um, well, you're weird. <laughs> Martin Mull is the dad of Seth Seth the Green's. Dad's dad. What a shock! Dad, dad. Seth dad Green's dad. best friend. <laughs> Shut up. And he <laughs> has the most like prolific old people. Yeah. Like thoughts that he just like he doesn't have a filter. And I feel like he's not even acting. That's just how Martin Mull really is. Yeah, he's quite an enigma of a man. Yeah. <laughs> like, he, he's gotten to the, the point in his, his age where he just doesn't give a shit. And, <laughs> and everyone lets him do what he wants because he's Martin Mull. He probably just oh, showed yeah. up on set. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he, wasn't he wasn't even, even in the show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just wandered on. They were supposed to get Fred Willard, but... <laughs> yeah. There, there was... I forget what it was. I, I have it written down somewhere. But, um... His daughter-in-law was yelling at him because he was smoking a cigar on the couch, and he fell asleep smoking it. And and she's like, "You know, you're not supposed to be smoking a cigar in the house." And he he says, "Well, I'm sorry if that that's how I get all my ideas, and if I have to burn the house down with it." So okay. be it. Yeah. As a, a, a that's not verbatim. It's okay. just the gist of it because I don't yeah. remember it because it's been a while. It's a classic sitcom joke. Shut up. If I have to burn down the house... Fuck you, Seinfeld. Yeah. <laughs> I.e., if I have to burn down the Tim four Allen. boards that make up this set... Yeah. Burn down the ...and the way too many <laughs> memorabilia on the walls... Yeah. That's how Friends was. They had way too much stuff on the walls. Yeah. And they had a they had a support beam that kept showing up and disappearing. Really? In really? the middle of the room, yeah. Hmm. You never noticed that? I... Never thought about it. I've seen that. every episode of Friends at least four times. I'd like to think I have two. I have. Not. I know I have because that's what two years of third shift security will do to you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I have not because I don't watch syndicated TV and I didn't grow up watching it. So there you go. Probably I neither. I just got into it. <laughs> You're You're gonna be such a, you don't gotta be such a dick about it, man. New age bitches. <laughs> New age bitches. <laughs> Let's change the subject so I don't get further embarrassment. Lennon! Yo! You posted on Facebook a few days ago, oh. maybe a week or so, that scary game. I haven't yet, I have yet to see it. I don't think but it's scary. Why don't You're you, weird. Why don't you fill us in on what this you're is? You're weird that it's not scary. Because I want to know. It's, it's so, Wes, you're going to love this game. Give me okay. a prime. You will love it. It's the, it is called Five Nights at Freddy's. I love that. Okay. <laughs> it, it, you, in the game... You are a third shift <laughs> security guard. Oh yeah, <laughs> working in a like Chuck E. Cheese knock-off. in a nursing home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Might as well be in a nursing Chuck home. Chuck E. Cheese nursing home. <laughs> <laughs> oh my uh, god, that's, that's where all our generations that is gonna horrifying. end up. That's the name of my alternative screamo band. Chuck E. Cheese nursing home. <laughs> I don't know how you can do out the two. Of the it does sound like, like a it. good screamo band. Yeah, I, I like, it's the sound like it's, of that. It's like scary kids scaring kids. It's just stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yep. But you, uh, so you're in like this Chuck E. Cheese knockoff place, and uh, basically you get a phone call from a guy, you, a manager, you would think. Uh, oh, I thought it was another security guy. Yeah, it was a guy that used to work there. And it was Fontaine. Well, the yeah, time. but you don't, <laughs> you didn't realize that for a while, didn't you? I thought, I knew or that as it? soon as I started watching. Oh, well, fuck me then. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's, it's, it's apparently the guy who used to work there, and he basically informs you that, yeah, the animatronic shit just comes to life at night. <laughs> if uh, you want to keep those doors around you closed so they don't fucking kill you, that'd be great. Uh, <laughs> That's always nice. So your entire uh, time in the game is just surviving from 12 o'clock to, to 6 a.m., mm -hmm. midnight to 6 a.m. Uh, you don't leave the security guard room. You have two doors on the side of you, one on the left, one on the right, and you can watch the cameras and see where shit be. Uh, and you can turn on the light so you can see just outside your doors because the cameras don't see just outside the doors and you can close the fucking doors. <laughs> That's the whole game. It's just not 
getting fucking destroyed. Imagine what would possibly Horrifying. occur. These things are pretty big, too. They're not like little tiny things. They're well, no, they're, anim- they're those big, stupid... Yeah. They're taller than you. Much. <laughs> yes, those. You never see them move, though. No, they're just... They're there, and then the camera goes Whoa, to another room, comes scary. back, and then it's just... Yeah. Right there. It's that horrifying. The pirate cove... Thing is, Wait, the duck? Or? No, the, the, duck. The, the dude who, if you don't watch him on the camera long enough, he comes out from behind that curtain and just, uh, no, it's, it's the scariest fucking thing, dude. So it, he only appears from day two and from night two and beyond. It's the Pirate Cove guy. The Pirate Cove yeah. guy. It's, there's this one camera, you notice it on day one. There's one camera where it's just a curtain and there's like an out of order sign. If you don't watch that camera enough, you might jump into that camera and, like, there's a creepy, like, fucking fox, like, with big, glowy, evil eyes and, like, a pirate fucking hand just standing there. And then if you look away and come back for a while, he's, like, slowly moving out to the side. But if you don't look at him again, he just makes a mad dash down the hallway oh, for an instant shit. kill. It's... Oh, and his instant kill is he just bursts into the room and screams and everything goes out. It's horrifying. See, when you describe scary movies or scary they're funny. games, they're funny, but when, yeah. you, when you're in there, you're like, OH GOD! It's really the most terrifying game I think I've ever seen. Wait, did you say how the battery goes down? Oh, no, I forgot about that. Yeah, the whole way that you can lose is that you have a certain amount of battery, and looking at the camera, using the lights, or closing the doors uses up more battery. Uh-huh. Yeah. That is, like... And the goal is to try not to use up all the battery before your shift ends. Yep. Imagine the fuckery that would occur (laughs) if Markiplier was to figure out that this game exists. He was the one playing it. That's the video I posted. Okay, I didn't know know who it was. Yeah. Apparently there's two of them. What do you mean there's two of them? There's three Two Markipliers? Oh, there's three now, okay. Yeah, there's three Markipliers. There's Markiplier and his evil twin, Darkiplier. I only thought... (laughs) Darkiplier. Yeah, I only thought there was the one, and then I found out there was, I was the second one, and then there was the third at all. <laughs> it's, it's Markiplier and his evil twin, Jim Vider. <laughs> there you go. Jim. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh. So yeah, it's, it's, the game is horrifying. Okay. And I love it. <laughs> I can't get over in my head your, your question. The ducks. pirate code of wait—is that the one with the duck? Because <laughs> yeah. ducks are the first thing I think question. about. It's duck a valid pirates. question. The duck is the creepiest one. That's like not the pirate code. <laughs> I mean, I didn't pay attention to the names. It's just it's dumb. Got, duck. I don't think they have names There's beyond Freddy. Freddy. Yeah. Beyond that, I don't think there is any. But yeah, the duck's horrifying because it's got fucking teeth. <laughs> a duck with teeth is horrifying. Yeah. yeah. Actually, no, there is a real duck that has uh, teeth duck. on its tongue. There you go. Along the sides of its tongue, it's just these sharp teeth, and it has the sharp, it's uh, like that, more sharp ones on its beak. It's like what? that one fish that has human-looking teeth. Yeah. That's terrifying. Yeah. Yes, uh, I, was, I was thinking of the fish, but the I way forget she was what kind of bird this is. It's always it. happy. I don't find out what that thing is called. I forget what the bird is that I saw. I love it's the, got teeth on its tongue. I love the blobfish. Me too. Yeah. It's, it's it looks like it has a huge ass It looks like Dilbert. Dilbert was a fish. Yeah, a Burlington Coat Factory. I just want to go fish. over. I, I just, <laughs> just want to go over the top, uh, like search results. Yeah. for searching fish with human teeth. Uh huh. The first one is Paku, the fish with very human teeth. The second one is the sheephead fish has human teeth, but it's okay because it won't give you a psychedelic crisis. <laughs> what? And. Testicle eating fish. <laughs> oh, I know that one. I, I, wow, I wouldn't that's... have liked to be the guy who found out that that could happen. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh yeah, that's a oh fish that's like in the Amazon or something yeah, like that. Probably. It's terrifying. It's where we swims, got our piranhas. And it swims in your dick. Oh, when <laughs> you're, you're like into the water. water. No, that's yeah. something else. Yeah, that's uh, something else. It uh, swims up your urethra. Uh, there's two yeah. of these fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like that. Oh, oh, okay. Have a look. I'll put it. Jesus Christ! I'll put in our links. Because we have links now. Yeah, that's so cool. And not the not the cat. Or, uh, or the, the jerky. What do we want to call? Do we want to call it, or just we want to call it links? I don't care. Okay. You created it. Well, well, I figure we talk about so many different things now that we might as well have links. Yeah, I don't know. So I have an update from a conversation from last week. Oh, okay. Um, remember how we were talking about um, movie rights? Yeah. For mm-hmm. Marvel characters. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, who was it? Fox has, I think it was Fox, has released the rights back to Marvel of Ghost Rider, Blade, and 
We said that last time. No, we didn't. Yeah, we Hold did. on, I'll bring up that. That was about chart. the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. They, they just did it Is this it, week. What? But that was like the very first thing that I mentioned. Okay, what were you saying? <coughs> say, say all that again. They must have done it the day we saw the movie. He was <laughs> said ago. Ghost Rider. Yeah, Ghost. It was Ghost Rider, Blade, and I forget what the third one was. But there was three that they they had just given the rights back to Marvel. It's not on this this chart that we that I put up last week. Yeah. Have you guys heard that there was a girl now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 There, there you go. Since the time of this writing, the rights to Daredevil, Electric Ghost Rider, Daredevil. Puncher, and Blade have re- reverted back to Marvel Studios. Yeah. I said that last week. Oh, no. I heard it happen this week. He thought it was such good news well, that he didn't mention it again. Oh. And the article that I read was dated for, like, Tuesday. Well, Tuesday. They were oh, yeah, Ghost Rider and them. Blade are on this chart. <laughs> I just am blind. Oh, is that yeah. that circle chart? I'm sorry that I'm trying to be productive. Jeez. Fuck you. That's okay. That's you got so it right. Us. We're just late. Like you were when you got here. I thought you were going to be here at 3.30. No, I did put on there 3 o'clock, because, yeah. It did yeah. say that, 3. Yeah, you said be here around 3. I pulled in the driveway at 3. I thought he was going to be here at 3.30. Because he normally is at we're places at, at 3.30. We're at his place by 3.30. What the fuck ever? <laughs> I'm here, we're halfway through a show now. I'm not the one who brought it up. Neither did I! I'm only giving you shit because it's fun. <laughs> it's always fun. Yeah. Always. Let's let's see how, how, how Walmart always has low prices. Let's see how fun it is around Christmas time always. when I give all y'all actual shit. I'll just shit in the box. Can I can I not get one? <laughs> yeah, you don't you don't get one. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to get a gift from you, so. No, you get one because you have a job. <laughs> I don't have a job. Everyone with I jobs gets job. I was making a call back to, to his. Yeah. I have a job. I, have a I know. Yeah. And I was trying to I'm make a done. joke. I'm just and then I was going to try and make a joke. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> I have a job. Either not. My last day was on Thursday. And I pull, I did a very Wesley like thing. And that was okay. I dressed in a full suit and didn't tell anybody I was going to dress in a full suit. <laughs> so that was fun. Did you look like a fool in a suit? No, but the funny thing was that um, <coughs> my aunt's boss, who's not the same boss as mine, yeah. uh, does dress in a full suit, and we unintentionally dressed exactly the same. That's terrifying. I know, it is. <laughs> but just to play it off in a funny way, I saw it before he did, and at one point we just like <coughs> ran into each other at one point, and we looked at each other like up and down, and I was like, looking good. <laughs> and I walked away. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I was so hoping that you were you were going to say that the both of you did that mirror thing in cartoons, <laughs> well, where it's like you, you just had the thought, just wait, did I just walk into a mirror and you start doing the same? Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 all right now, they just walk away. Well, first of all, this guy is like six feet tall. The funhouse mirror. <laughs> 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 it's a good thing mirrors don't talk because he sounds like he swallowed gravel. <laughs> no, seriously. Oh, Apparently, yeah. he has some sort of sinus problem. That's um, what their excuse was. Yeah, he sounds like. <laughs> oh, so he sounds like he's, fat Albert. He's a yeah. he's a winded Louis Armstrong. Yeah. <laughs> winded fat Albert. <laughs> he's been playing the trumpet for two years. I don't scared. He just gives up. Remarkable. <laughs> 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 I just want to say, on this picture where, with the uh, the visual guide to Marvel characters yeah. movie rights, the Hulk looks like broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that. Say what? He looks, he looks like broccoli. Here, I'll link. I'll, I'll he link, does look like a piece of. Broccoli. Don't worry, yeah, audience. Right. I'll link it in the description. He like is broccoli, broccoli and Einstein. Like <laughs> yep, <laughs> Einstein. Broccoli. Broccoli. A green circle with a, with a the green broke. afro broccoli and an angry Einstein. face. Yeah, it's the broke. The, the broke. broke. <laughs> Incredible brawl. <laughs> oh god, he's incredible. <laughs> Don't forget to eat me with dinner, kids. You guys know about uh, no. Captain America Strong? Yes. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah. Love they, all, in all their all their comics, they have a parody uh-huh. uh, comic book character. The first one they did was the inedible hunk. Reach <laughs> <laughs> the pile of food. <laughs> All right then. That's really cool. I love it. 
That's so cool. I haven't read those books in like 14, 15 years. Wow. Yeah, the, the guy who wrote them went on a hiatus for like... <coughs> he did. Like seven years. He's writing another series now, And now there's, a, really? there's like so. three more books in that series. And now they're all in color and hardback. Ooh, pretty. Yeah. In color. Ooh. Ah. I have a laptop in front of me. I can tell you exactly... Because I think he's writing another series now, but I, yeah, I don't know what it's called. Like that. I don't know. <laughs> but I love yeah. Captain Underpants. Yeah. <laughs> oh, someone let the oh. out of charge. DreamWorks acquired rights to the series to make an animated feature film adaptation. Uh, That's interesting. Uh, Ooh, not that. which does not mean they'll do anything with it. They just have the rights. To it. <laughs> well, right. they that, should. That makes me that the first thought that I had was. Are they going to cast real underpants or are they going to be CGI underpants? Yes, <laughs> like they're like going to be both, like the Green Lantern suits, all yeah. CGI. Yeah. <laughs> just, that's, yeah, that's what it should be. Wait, have you guys heard of Iron? You know, Iron Giant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A mouse version. Vin yeah. Diesel. <laughs> what? Iron Giant's voice by Vin Diesel. Yeah. I did not know that. What? Well, now you know that. Highly accurate. I, I wish I wasn't holding a laptop <laughs> because I just want to throw something right now. My immediate thought was, well, I'm done, and just throw my laptop. And, yeah. I don't well, have that kind of money no the more. The first one of those books came out in 1997. So Groot and Iron Giant, same voice. Yes. yes. Yeah. That's crazy. This is the same guy who drives really fast cars in movies. Yeah. yeah. yeah and that's... also was a babysitter for a duck. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah. In the pacifier, he wasn't a duck's babysitter, but there was a duck involved somewhere. Yeah, he, was, was a, he would just a water pet. around, and then he bit some guys' nuts. I'm like, okay. Come on, Casey. <laughs> stop <laughs> being a Riley and watch TV. Nuts. I don't watch TV or movies. <laughs> well, stop being a Riley. Okay. It's not hard. It's not easy. Yeah. It's not easy. <laughs> Speaking of TV and movies, I'm gonna throw ducks. a radio in there. Huh? And ducks. And ducks, lots of ducks. I'm very, very annoyed at the Wendy's commercials. <laughs> which one? Yeah, which All ones? Of them. All of them? Yeah. The Radio annoying, and TV. With the annoying redhead? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and I think what annoys me the most is, um, um, I forget which song they're parroting, but where she's having like flashbacks and she's playing different instruments. She's playing the cowbell and she's like nodding her head as she's playing the cowbell and yeah. her head is like way out of time with the cowbell. I just want to, like, jump through my TV and put my boot bit down her throat. You know what I find hilarious about those commercials? The only reason she is in them is because they all thought the real Wendy was too fat. Yeah. What? Are you serious? Yeah. I didn't know that. That's Yeah, yeah that is pretty funny. That's yes. I just want to say, so it would be her otherwise. Also, yeah. I think she wow. Oh, yeah, she was in, like, two commercials. Yeah. And they're like, this And it's, like, from her. This bitch is up. huge. Yeah. So they got, yeah. Okay. Isn't That's she blonde? Terrible. Well, one of our funniest moments on the Hogs podcast was making fun of that. You remember? Mm-hmm. We would be like, hi, I'm Wendy. Yep. Yeah. Yep. After I ate my father, Dave, <laughs> oh my God, I had the idea for the baking hater. Yep. And I say that eight strips of Dave is not enough. <laughs> I really oh, that hate was a that, that, that wow. spokeswoman, though. Yeah, well, she, yeah, she's a cunt. She's really annoying. <laughs> now, I, I, I hate all the parody songs. The fucking, the, the three people on the radio singing... About the the pretzel bite of you, I just, I just want to wreck my wreck my car because <laughs> I don't even want to change the station because I know it's going to be somewhere else. Okay. I just want to wreck She's my car and get it out. Of Wendy's, I yeah. can deal with flow. Yeah. That's yeah. fine. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so okay. I, I can deal with her too. I but wonder why that is. You know, most of because she's not as annoying. Good. Really? Yeah, most yeah. of my, a lot of my friends. Well, she's not that bad looking. No, she's all right. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> It's not bad. Yeah. It's not bad. That joke joke never works. (laughs) But it's funny. (laughs) I got three new jokes for tonight. Nice. I'm not going up tonight because I have nothing. Eh, That happens. But I'm impressed because I wrote all three of these jokes in one night at work. It's like, this is unprecedented. Usually I'm happy to get one. Good job. Yeah, they're all going to suck, too. So, speaking of happy to get one. Uh, Uh, Get out! (laughs) I'm surprised no one made that joke before. Oh, man, someone has. Like, he, uh, like uh, speaking of everyone that has idiotic. ever met this kid. Speaking yeah. of completely idiotic. Hello. What about, what about me? Now this is now this is Wikipedia, so take it as you will. But oh, this God. is what it says. Okay. In January 2014, the cast was announced for this Captain Underpants movie. Oh yeah. 
with Ed Helms joining as, as Captain Underpants. Oh, Ed Helms. I forget who he is. Now this is this is probably going to be animated. Oh, shit. This is probably going to be animated since mm-hmm. it's. Uh, is David DreamWorks. Hasselhoff going to be in? David Hasselhoff he'll play, as Captain Underpants. He'll play George. Kevin Hart as George Beard, i.e. the black guy. Yeah, that's why I said Hasselhoff. <laughs> Thomas Middleditch as Middle Harold Hutchins. <laughs> Thomas Middleditch. That's what I heard, I'm, I'm glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> i.e. The, uh, the, the white guy. Please say the next one is Benedict Cumberbatch. Isn't his name like Howard or something? The Duck? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Howard the Duck. Harold. Harold. It's close. The Duck? <laughs> <laughs> No, the lobster. The quail. Uh, Nick Kroll as the insidious villain Professor Poopy Pants. Yes! Uh, the perilous And plot. Peel as Melvin the Nerd. <laughs> okay. Uh, who's that? I don't know Peel. who any of these people oh, are that you're Peel saying. Oh, Peel is, um... Keen Peel. Oh, 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 oh. Epic rap battles of history. Yeah, yeah. But no, if it's um, him, then Peel. I don't. The yeah. film was scheduled, scheduled to be released on January 13th, 2017. Oh, the same year, the it. Gardens of the Galaxy 2 will be out. Yeah. Gardens of the Galaxy? <laughs> Gardens of the, of the Galaxy. Just a dude out there with a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a guy that does the voiceovers for uh, uh, Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. Yeah. Yes. The old British guy. That's the Just one. farming my corn. That wasn't a British guy. <laughs> no, he's he's not doing the voiceover for it. He's not a good actor. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't even have a face. Mm. It's just Slenderman in a field <laughs> hoeing things. <laughs> All right. I love my corn. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was him trying to be Morgan that British Freeman. guy. All I, I, I heard was, I love my corn. I love my corn. These are that's gonna be the, That's going to be the, the, item, the title of this. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the title of this podcast. What? I love, I my, love corn. my corn. I love my corn. No, we have Because last week was popcorn. Now this week is corn. Uh, no. uh, it's yeah. not all about you it's not. and your issues with popcorn <laughs> and movie theater snacks. I love popcorn. That's not any of our problems. Well, this the- is not group therapy, so you can shut up, you nerd. This is group okay. Class. Close enough. I'm sensing some tension. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of it whenever Wes is here. When I'm, uh, when I'm anywhere, really. Yeah, when he's much. anywhere, yeah. Pretty much. I mean, look at those pants. They're just itching to burst. <laughs> so, has everyone heard about Ferguson? Fer- oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nope. Where the, where the dude got shot for no reason. The guy got shot, yeah. so now there's protesters oh. being tear gassed and shot at with rubber bullets. That's. Wait. And well, that's been so. in the news this whole entire <coughs> week. Yep. yep. Everywhere. Because there's nothing else to talk about. Here's a reason you should never have an iPhone, which is hypocritical of me because I have an iPhone. But here's <laughs> a reason a good why you should <laughs> never have an iPhone because uh, the police will block signals. With, uh, from iPhones that says you can't use your phone here. There's police activity nearby. Right. Just for iPhones, they don't do for Androids. Just for iPhones. Well, it's a good thing I have an Android then. There you go. But apparently, Android. there's this picture that's gone viral of a guy who picked up one of the tear gas, like the little things that was in, and he <laughs> you know, the canister. I waving my arms around a circle. <laughs> yeah. and and then, what do I do with this? <laughs> and he goes to throw it, and then someone took a really good picture of it. Now they're making shirts and stuff with it, and the guy had to say, don't buy a shirt of me with me on it. Why would you make a shirt of that? I don't... Because people were going nuts over this. Why do you want to make a shirt that says Vortex is suck in? <laughs> because that was a stupid thing you said, and it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> this is a guy throwing a tear gas grenade. And it's just a picture of him doing that. He's just like... he's. It looks like he's throwing a football. Like, get ready to throw a football, but it's the canister. Go long! <laughs> go... Police, go long! Catch these tears. In yeah. gas form. <laughs> and then it shows someone... Let me collect get... your tears. <laughs> yeah. And then it showed someone who got shot by one of the rubber bullets on their side, yeah. and it looked like someone took, like, a little... A rubber sc- bullet. Yes, and yeah. it looked like t- someone <laughs> took... And it looked like someone took an ice cream scooper and dug a hole out of her side. Wow. And then there was a big purple bruise around the outside mm. of it. But it just looked like a scoop was taken out of her skin. Scoop. Just from yeah. a rubber bullet. Scoop on the scoop on but it's because scoop. people think that, you know, the police shot the guy for no reason, and when now they're right. finding out there was more behind the story where apparently before he was shot, he robbed a convenience store, he took cigars and pushed the mm. um, the owner of the store like aside as he went out the door. Then they've been saying he went at one of the police, one of the policemen tried getting in one of their cars yeah, to get a gun out. kill a guy, though. Mm. Well, if he was yeah. trying to get in their car to get a gun, that's a that's been a big speculation now that he tried getting in one of the police cars. Yeah, but you still to get a gun. shouldn't kill a guy. Well, for I don't. That. F- 
And I don't know if they necessarily meant to shoot them like that, but maybe it was just that you know. Odds are they did. It, yeah. I mean, I'm not. I'm not saying the police aren't out of this. I'm just saying that's you know that's just the other speculation coming out, and they also could have been like you know we're going to shoot you if you keep if he's like coming near him yeah. or something. Then they could use that, but I mean, who knows what really happened? Yeah, it could have been that they shot him for no reason, or there it's could have be been a reason that they did it. But then apparently his body laid in the street for four hours. Yeah, I heard and that. pictures went viral of his viral. body, viral, viral of him laying in the street. And it's like, pl- people, please stop sharing that picture. You know, that's why. Why did you let that's it get Mr. out, Mr. Garrison? I yeah, know. it's not like your teacher voice. <laughs> no, that's Mr. Garrison. Please refer to. <laughs> that doesn't sound anything like Mr. Garrison. It's tired out, Louis. Louis I going. did have a professor that sounded just like Mr. Garrison, though. Just all like right, him. All right, so so. Louis Armstrong's my teacher. I need some horrible pass. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. You're welcome. That's yeah. why I stay out of conversations like that. Yeah. Because I don't get involved. Like, it's just th- like I see like, it you, like you said, and and said a couple times the word speculation. Exactly, it's all speculation. No one yes. knows what happened. Exactly, the, everyone tries to to push their what what is really a theory as fact. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Even though they weren't there, they're gonna just well, Wes. And now there's thousands of people in the streets not going for you that a theory is actually. Way right. you prove something, I know. and an hypothesis is when you're the whole big thing that people are doing about this yeah, is they're making it stupid. they're yeah. making it a race thing that <laughs> was all because of his race. So now everyone's like, "Well, yeah. everyone's racist." I mean, there's always that possibility, but you know, I don't. But it's like I've that's the first thing I've that's the first I've actually really even <laughs> talked about. It. It's just that's all I see. I scroll down Facebook, post after post after post. Don't even go on Tumblr. Because that's where you get the really violent people talking about rule. it. I already do that. Yeah, yeah. I never, <laughs> Thanks for the warning. I won't go. I think everybody <laughs> else here doesn't go on Tumblr. It, yeah. d- d- don't for this well, entire... we're not super Until the thing in Ferguson <laughs> yeah. is over, don't go on Tumblr. Yeah. Uh, just, just don't. Do, do, I tried uh, Tumblr once. Oh, I love it all. I, I'm on it all the time. It's just I can't take it right now. Because I'm super who locked. To retort yeah. oh, to, to, to your... This is what a theory is. This is what... Please. Are you turning into me? Us. You're spending too much time tell us, around. Tell me. us about your hypodermic needle. <laughs> as as my as my good friend Channing Tatum once said. <laughs> fuck you, science. <laughs> did he say that? Yeah, he did. Huh? Twenty one Jump Street. Twice. Nice. <laughs> so what? Uh-huh. <laughs> Well, remember that story I told where this, uh, no, one, one, of my, one of my one of my friends stories. came in from drinking really heavily. No, he walked inside Stacy and I were watching a movie. I thought you say he walked inside Stacy. I'm like, wait a minute. No, <laughs> <laughs> some drunk guy walks into Stacy. <laughs> I'm and sorry, he, and he falls on the floor because he ran into her. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no. So he walked in. You guys are watching something. Yeah, and he's like, "Hey, you guys see Twin on Jump Street?" And we're like. No. He's like, you should watch this. It's a good movie. And then Stacy turns to me and he's like, I think this guy's really drunk. And, she, and he goes, hey, you ratting on me? <laughs> <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> he walks away. The there you go. Theory confirmed. <laughs> yep. He was fired. He's, he's no longer a hypotenuse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking done. <laughs> now he's a hyperbole. Uh, uh, there you go. I forget what that is too. Some <laughs> Still, in, some fuck in science. English. When, you yeah, when you're exaggerating, when you're exaggerating something, I can't it. Oh, hyperbole. Eve. Yeah, hyperbole. Eve. Oh, I love it's, the hyperbole. It's right next to epitome. <laughs> <laughs> I like that song. <laughs> epitome. What? What's it? It's the name of a song. Okay. <laughs> that's it. And that's where the conversation came to an end. What? I got lost. I'm still trying to make a joke for Hyperbowl. <laughs> it's San like, Diego it's Chargers. Like, it's when you like go bowling s- at like 90 miles an hour. No, it's not the Super Bowl, but everyone's on speed. 
go. So it's the regular Super Bowl then. It's the bowl. Yeah. <laughs> no, they take double the speed as usual. Yeah, it's, it's, like the, it's like... And everyone turns into Erica where their words just go... <laughs> the, announce, the announcers take new cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, That's what was wrong with John Madden. Anything that John Madden did. <laughs> yeah. It's like, all right, here they go. There's the, the third, the third, the third. Snaps the ball. All right, they're going down the track. That's not a track. You're going down the track. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a horse race. Well, John, they're, they're John, I believe you're they're, watching a horse race. They're the horse race. <laughs> the thing that they got to do is they got to take laps around the track. John, no, turn around. They're turn just around, players. They're like, all right, they're they're they snap the ball. They're running down the field. And there he goes. I was in an interception. I was like, did I mention I love sports? <laughs> God. Sports. Oh, sports. God, I love sports. I'm and he just starts ripping the skin off his arms. <laughs> oh my god! He starts shaking his arms so fast, his arm fat just like his the muscles just just falling off his back. So that's cocaine, uh, no, Matt. What is this? You took enough sports. cocaine. You took this way too far. No, it's just sports. Pain. Just it's just sports. Sports. Just sports. Yeah, just sports. Just sports. Sports is drugs. Sports! Oh! You become a sports is, Can we get that on a poster? <laughs> sports. sports is drugs. <laughs> I can make And that then it shows every baseball player. <laughs> oh, yeah. And everyone in the Tour de France. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So, what the fuck? Probably. Good question. Everything. Why is the ice bucket challenge suddenly a thing? <coughs> <laughs> Didn't that used to happen um, at the end of every football game? Yeah. yeah. Like, ah, fuck you. There's been at least 50 <laughs> people I'm friends with that have gotten That's tagged to do it. Yeah. It's, 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 they're it's trying it's to donate. Hold on. <clears throat> what, they forget that ice is cold? What is this? Yeah. Stacy <laughs> does not know what the ice bucket challenge is. That's Appar- okay. Apparently it's, what I've heard is they started it back up to donate to people in Ferguson. That's just what I, I, I No, it's for ALS. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I've, well, I've heard that too. But it's I've heard it's for everyone's everything. stupid. That's what it's it is. Of, all right, what, what it is, is you take a bucket of ice water and you dump it on your head. And that's, and it. that's it. In <laughs> place of... Actually donating to the to the <laughs> ALS charity, yes. and what how how you go about doing it is someone is is nominated to do it, and yep. when you're nominated to do it, you either donate an amount of money to the ALS charity, <laughs> or you, or you're an you dump a bucket of ice water on your head, and ten times out of nine, <laughs> it's people nice. dump. A bucket of water on their head. No, I'm sorry. Nine times out of ten, because no, there ten was times this. Out of nine is more accurate. There was no. I'm sorry. I that I, I wish I could stick with that, but nine times out of ten. Sorry, you were thinking about an epitome. One <laughs> time, one time, a guy actually donated to the charity. And that guy was considered to be the most boring person. He didn't alive. have any ice. No, he he was set up to do it. He's like, all right, I'm going to do the ice bucket challenge. He he goes, all right, I'm going to do it. You can have that. Here's a two hundred dollar check because go. I'm actually going to do something unlike all the rest of you fucks. I'm sure yeah, cool, exactly dude. that. I like that guy. And again, it's not verbatim. It's just the gist. I think that you should say everything verbatim. <laughs> <laughs> Quote everything you've ever heard verbatim, so we can fact check you later. Because you're just a ball of, of stuff. <laughs> My <laughs> brain is like Erica's speech. Yeah. We're just him and I are just. It's not existent. It's just in. It's like a, you zoom into Wes's head, and it's just a bunch of tiny Wes going. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how my brain is. Yeah. Get and out. That's, and that's my head, but that's whenever I'm trying to speak, and they're trying to find the wor- the letters, and they can't find all the letters because they went missing last time. It's like a bunch of monkeys at typewriters. Yeah, I wish I could afford to get something right. <laughs> no, it's a cat that walks across a keyboard. I wish I could afford that too. It's just a bunch of unpaid me's running around. You can't around. afford a cat walking around. No, I can't. <laughs> Even when I did have a job, I couldn't do that. I can't. I can't. Hey now. You don't what? already have a cat? The, the people in your head are not paid. I know. <laughs> they're just a clever metaphor of expressing complex thoughts. But they're real. Case buns. <laughs> but they're real. If you shake your head a bunch, and they're like, earthquake! And they're like, wait, 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 don't fire me, I have three kids! No, I don't! No, the people in your head. They all look just like you. Yeah, I don't have three kids, I have 19 moms. They're all just Wes's. I just imagine a bunch of little baby Wes's running around. (laughs) 
That's why I'm excited to be a dad because there's a there's a I'm not <laughs> there's a fat I guess fatter there's there's an a, an equally fat bald me just rolling around on the floor. He's he's bald in the head, but he's got the beard. Yes, I just picture you being a hamster ball though. <laughs> rolling around on the floor. It's just a small me just rolling around the hamster. I want a a, a cloned small me <laughs> to do what? Whatever I want. I'll put him in a hamster ball just to entertain me for like ten minutes. What if he doesn't want to? Fuck him. What if he just leaves your I'd house and you can't not. find him? <laughs> what if he just leaves one day? The second you make him, he just says, see ya. He'd, he'd be like Petey goes... on Family Guy. What? Who, what? What? Mm-hmm. Petey? Peter's neck yeah. thing. Oh, the, oh, okay. Yeah. His neck thing. Well, that's irrelevant. His neck yeah, person. No, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of, of me and having problems with my brain, I'd like to say one thing real quick. Go ahead. Before we get too far, I I just got on Facebook for the hell of it, yeah. and one of the top things from a comedian friend of mine is just dumped a bucket of Ebola on my head. I now <laughs> nominate these people. To do this. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Who was that? Uh, it's the it's uh, Chip Chantry, the guy who won um, Philly's Funniest last year, was the host of the Philly uh, Funniest nice. stuff. Nice. Yeah. Anyway, my brain. My brain. My brain. My brain. My brain. My brain. Yeah. Um, yeah, speaking of me needing therapy, I, I need therapy. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> you are on the Dude. ball with that joke. You are. Yeah. Um, Bird, so we, we all know how I like to, um, like, tell stories to complete strangers. Okay, and how I can how I convince the guy. What did you do now? Yeah, what'd you do? Just jump right into it. I had a hankering for cereal. As as do I. <laughs> at at <laughs> nine o'clock at night. Okay. okay. Cereal's amazing. So I go to Wise about twenty minutes before they close. Mm-hmm. You're an I, asshole. Immediately you are an asshole. I make a beeline straight to the cereal. I get a box of Apple Jacks. A box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch yeah. Yeah. and half a gallon of milk and right to the register. I was like in and out yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, that's not asshole. That's yeah. still an asshole. No, he's not. No, the cashier not. laughed at me and said, I have never seen a person look so determined like you did when you walk in and then come to check out and it's just cereal. I didn't think about it. I didn't plan it. It just fell out of my mouth, <laughs> as most things do. I just pictured one of you falling out of your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 then he you steps on it. Jawas. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> he steps on it. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> my my response to my determination for cereal is that's because I have a very small niece, and she's spending the weekend with me, and she loves cereal just as much as I do. And she laughed, and she said, "Oh, well, that that makes sense." And I said, "Honestly, I don't think half a gallon is gonna is gonna cut it, but at least it's a start." And we had a conversation about my non-existent niece. <laughs> well done, smooth. I, smooth. I I I now it happens more often with cashiers because I I think I feel like I need to make my life more interesting to complete stranger cashiers. <laughs> <laughs> when they don't care to begin with. Now, yeah. I think this is an excellent segue, because you are a good liar about that sort of thing. Let's mosey on down to a you story that Stacy is about to tell about how terrible a liar she is about your mom's birthday present. And, oh! and don't lie about it, because we'll know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the because he just told right, just, just, just tell it. Just tell it. Oh. That's not really a dog sweater, is it? No, it's you really had me just, fooled. It's really a guy who was it's Cut for to a guy about that is ten of arms. Everyone interrupting Stacy. Go on. Yeah, come on. Um, let's see. Where do I start? Just lying about it already. <laughs> let's okay. I ordered my mom's birthday present, and she decided to come over. She has to test eggs for a motive, whatever. And she held the box, and I'm just like, oh. Okay, so you're handing me the thing that I'm just going to give back to you anyway for your birthday. It showed up at the same time that she got there. Yeah, it did. And she's like, oh, what'd you get me? And I'm like, fruitcake. It's fruitcake. I got you fruitcake. And she's like, no, it's not. I'm like, how can you tell? It's not heavy enough. It's it's half a fruitcake and half a meatloaf. And it would be the same weight. 
Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and she didn't, uh, and she didn't, she didn't believe that either, so I'm like, I'm trying to convince her that it's fruitcake, even though I know it's like a hopeless You hopeless are a cause. terrible liar. I but regardless, she was still I'm surprised. T- <laughs> as to what was in the box, it was a picture of fruitcake. I have. <laughs> say, is it fruitcake? Like a small. I have a food? question that I think the two people that actually listen to our show would want to ask. So, I'm sorry you can't email us this week like you haven't been. Oh, able shut to up! We get we like time travel. a week. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of lying or attempting to lie, she gives you a box that's meant for her and say, "Oh." This is your birthday present. She says, oh, what'd you get me? Instead of, here, open it and find out, you it's, it's fruitcake. It's, <laughs> it's meatloaf. It's not what is actually in the box. Um, it might be the Constitution. Or maybe, yeah. I'd, it's not what's really in the box, though. But you can't have it. That's what it sounds like to me. That you, you just, like held the box ransom <laughs> until she guessed what it was or believed your lie. She didn't believe the lie, but she didn't try to guess it either. It's like, I, I couldn't give it to her a week early. Yeah, she okay. could. I've done it. Oh, well, I, I don't because do that. Erica's way of living is fuck it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It's so a good system. Life. It's yeah. a good system. Yeah. Well, Both I, the expletive and the verb. Yep. I'll That's why I'm a teacher. Oh, you keep saying Erica wrong. It's Erica. Oh yeah. Erica. In order to discern from Stacy's Wait, sister really? Erica and this Erica, they call me that. It's Erka. This is Erka. The other. I used to be Erk the alien. Okay. So my that friend in college called me. I was an alien. Right. Then I had a bunch of third graders tell me I was an alien when I subbed once. So I, I'm an alien. That. Da da da. It all adds up. Yep. All right. That makes sense. No, it doesn't. What? It really would. <laughs> What? I'm an alien. How? Spaceships. <laughs> Where have you explains been? Everything. That explains everything. That explains everything. Yeah, that's all you need. Spaceships. That's Where? why I like Doctor Who so much. Who's? Doctor Who's. <laughs> that just sounds like a Canadian. Doctor Who's, eh? Yeah. No, really. Where have you been? Mm-hmm. We talked about that multiple times. Oh, yeah, I like you. What? What? Canadian Doctor Who's. Oh, yeah. I know we've talked about it. Oh, okay. I, just, <laughs> yeah. I just like it. Yeah, you're the reason why we we named an episode Moose and the Hoose. I know. Because you started talking about that. She was on that episode, was she? Yes, she was. Okay. I think that was the the first video that broke uh, because yeah. of her and getting my equipment drunk. <laughs> you got your equipment drunk? You got my equipment drunk! What did I do? Just being there. Nothing lined up. Where the fuck have you been? <laughs> Nowhere, apparently. <laughs> Been I've been nowhere and everywhere. I'm not real. <laughs> <laughs> I just now realized that clock that says seven or six fifty nine is not the correct time. No, that hasn't moved in years. <laughs> Neither has that one. It's currently no, that one's right. It's just about fifteen minutes behind. I mean, it's moving, but it's not right. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Hey, let's let's. Get and away that clock from... doesn't move at all. That's what? Never moved. Let's get away from all that embarrassment with the. That s- clock is right. It's just fifteen minutes behind. The clock currently says it's like the one behind oh, your the one wait, behind your. Oh, uh, I thought she was pointing that one. I'm sorry. No, I that it. says eleven o'clock. It says eleven o two, and it is currently three fifty seven. That clock has never run because it sounds like the house is gonna fucking explode. It's never run because it's a What's clock wrong? and it doesn't have legs. <laughs> I, I know we're not Dude. supposed to describe visual things. It's a goddamn grandfather's but clock. I can't. Grandfather have... clock. Hey. I add the S into it because it adds character. Because <laughs> you're a character. That's I know funny. I am. That was funny. That was yeah. pretty funny. Because <laughs> it adds character. Yeah. Yeah. It was uh, just dumb enough. Yep. I know. I know we're not supposed to to do visual <clears throat> humor, but I have to describe the two painting drawing things on your wall. Oh, she's staring at me. <laughs> ah! The drawings? Yeah, they are. They are wow, these, they look good. Yeah, like charcoal drawings. They're these weird. two drawings uh, that look like really old people. Yeah, they've been dead for like a hundred years. The first one is a woman who looks like the wife from American Gothic. Yeah. Yeah, what, which was She's really... She's staring nice. into my soul. The other guy Charles looks Darwin. like Charles Darwin. 
<laughs> they would be my great 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 grandparents. But cool. yeah, she looks really sad and scary. Apparently yeah, she just, was a apparently she was one. She just needs a guy witch of a woman. Standing right next to her. Stop oh, staring yes. into my soul. And the picture next to her is their ten kids. Hey. I don't think when you guys are at home they bicker. They do. <laughs> <laughs> They, they do. They still that, that's why you don't look corner. at me anymore. I'm facing that wall, man. My <laughs> yeah. nose itches. You don't have hands. I know. <laughs> I don't have a nose. I'm like, no, I think they both have noses. <laughs> no one's going to trim my beard. It's getting so long. Yeah, I'm a great, great, great grandfather's so, clock. So, somebody just gets an eraser. Just... <laughs> <laughs> look at my big flappy ears. They're big and flappy. Yeah, they're they're over. Those drawings are over hundred years old. Good descriptor. There you go. They call me Flappy Pappy because my ears. Chickens used to live in that thing. We have I'm a, sorry. What? Chickens used to live in that. My grandpa was dead. Chickens used to lick that thing. <laughs> I was like, I don't think I can do that. I'm going to pass no. out. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> oh, God. Now you're starting to get oh. my hearing. You guys oh. are hanging out with me too much. Now you're talking like me and hearing like me. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, it's scary. Uh, what, what, why aren't you affected by this? I feel like you spend more time with her than anyone. I out. probably was affected by it. <laughs> it wasn't anymore. He's immune to it. He's got He's got the, the gene. It just doesn't affect him. Yeah, oh, before... Man. Any of us knew him. He was like a radio announcer. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's a me. Mario. Yeah, I, was about to say. I heard that's a me. Yeah. Oh man. Luigi. So, Sorry, other Mario. I'm finally caught up with all the Rooster Teeth podcasts, and I'm Are proud you? of you. Really? Good, job. Yeah. Good for I'm, you. I'm proud of me. I'm proud of you. And I recently <laughs> heard. Uh, they were they mentioned briefly about local ads that happen in Austin. I just want to to talk about some of the stupid ads that we see around here because some of them are really dumb. And A the lot one of them are dumb. The one that's number one on that list is Bob Ruth Ford. Yeah. Uh, are they visual ads or like the, TV, the commercials, radio ads. TV commercials. The, the radio ones are, are just as bad. Yeah. They are. It's just now you have to look at them when they're on TV. Yeah. They, they have they have their, their jingle where they try to say Deal and Dillsburg. <laughs> rhyming. They try to make it rhyme. Yeah. Because they, the country accents. <laughs> 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 to Dillsburg. So accurate. Yeah. Could you do that again, please? Dillsburg. <laughs> It's like you're trying to squirm your way through like a really tight hallway, and you make it at the very end. Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, do you guys know of any other good ones at all? Oh, is that all the commercials? <laughs> no, I, just, I love. Oh, I love. I was trying to start a conversation. Does the Wendy's one count. I hate the Wendy's one. They're so stupid. I like the one yeah, for the apple are. harvest, and they say, come to the National Apple Harvest Festival in Arentsville, Pennsylvania. Oh. Arentsville. No, you should I, know the name of your place. I do have an, a few others. I'm pretty there's, sure they paid someone out of the state to do so in well, Maryland yeah. to do it. This one's also a a, uh, a car dealership. I forget what, what the person says, but it's for one in Frederick, Maryland, and it's like... It's it's clear that it's like the dude's daughter because she's a terrible actor. Mm. She's got like the the Texas giant hair, and she's got like she's got a like a cut off shirt, but the shirt continues. It's just it's just showing her stomach, but it continues down. It's like it's like a section of shirt and then like a, a white skirt, and she's like, I got my thing at Frederick's store. Why are you so good at that? Like, like you're, you're like the voice guy now. Well, it's because I am the voice guy. Yeah, I know, a, I know a really so. terrible one. It's one for, um, I can't remember the name of the store, but these people sit down to dinner. It's a local commercial, and this woman comes in their front door and takes all their food off their table <laughs> because the familiar. family who was having that dinner owns this store. And then you come back to their table with nothing on except a, a knife spinning in circles. And the lady who came in went shopping at the store, which was their house, and she took their dinner home. And the lady oh. goes, sandwiches, anyone? 
and that's the commercial. I have no idea what you're saying. Yeah, you're gonna have to. I heard, I heard spinning knife. There was sandwiches. You weren't listening then. You, she I, said spinning knife, and I immediately thought just Inception. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, but like dinner. That made me angry. Like, dinner it, went, it went from the lady walking in the house taking their food yeah. to her taking it to her family and saying, "Where did you get all this food?" And she says, "The uh, store's name." Got it. And then they talk about these are our deals this week, and then it goes back to the store owner's family who lost their food, and the knife is spinning on the table, and, oh. and the dad says, "Now what are we gonna do?" And that's when the <laughs> wife says, "Sandwiches, anyone?" I'm just gonna nod and pretend well, that I, I, that. I, I can't can immediately about the knife because the, it took us so fast. That yes, the knife, so the so knife so, was okay. spinning I, on the I table. I can easily imagine Someone understood that guy's it. bad yeah. acting. What do we do now? Oh, it was all terrible. Or the or the. Oh. Um, the Little Caesars commercial where the lady comes in and says she brought dinner home and the guy has a ponytail and starts wagging like the dog's tail. Have you is, seen that one? Is Little Caesars local? There's, There's one, one in Dillsburg. Oh, okay. Dillsburg. Dillsburg. God <laughs> damn it. There's one of such good from dills. I hate that so much. <laughs> yeah, just so you... Just I so wish they would audience. rhyme it the other way. Where instead of like trying to rhyme it, like rhyme with deals, they like try. They and, got them their deals. Yeah. And, and I also deals. like that. Yeah. Um, That's like Pittsburgh. Yeah. Dealsburg. That one. They got them their deals. Got and them deals. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Deals. I think I think he's some kind of lawyer, but it's the guy that comes on screen and he looks like Crocodile Dundee with the hat he wears and yeah. he just <laughs> stares ridiculously at the TV screen. Doesn't yeah, where he's say, like doesn't even say anything. He just stares. yeah. The guy who who's like you have enough to. Yeah, and he's got this. <laughs> he's no, no, he's like, you got me to worry he's about. Like, yeah. <laughs> he's like, he gets, he get, it, well, it's like he gets really close to a microphone, like yep. I'm about to do. Yeah, and he's chair. like, let us take care of legal business. You have enough to worry about. And then he just strips. <laughs> she keeps the hat. Like on. I'm about to do. <laughs> <laughs> but he looks there, like Crocodile Dundee. There, it's there terrible. is, there is a, a local attorney. Um, he's a really fat guy with a beard. And he just stands there, and he doesn't blink, but his mouth moves, and, and nothing comes out. <laughs> and he's he's talking. Silent film. And <laughs> it it just looks like he's photoshopped in. Oh yeah, yeah. he looks gay and photoshopped. <laughs> it looks like he's just photoshopped in the background, but they did like like um by way of the the annoying orange, and they just like took they they took a yeah. video of him talking, and they just cut out his mouth. Yeah. And just slapped it on on <laughs> on just a still picture. And he's just standing there. He's like that picture, <laughs> except he actually talks. Because they know talks. which picture you're yeah. talking about. The American he's like, he's like Randy, yeah. 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 He just stands there, unblinking. Do you have problems? Do you need an attorney? You're gonna call me <laughs> <laughs> because I'm gonna come and get your, your sleep. He's the reason that knife is spinning. <laughs> now, the, now, what I thought you meant when the knife was spinning. They were playing like spin the bottle with the knife, spin the and, knife. and whoever, whoever the knife, knife whoever the stab 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 yeah, whoever, whoever the knife landed on, that's who they're going to eat. That's what I thought it was. Oh, that's yeah. why I was so confused. No, I said a woman and then came you, in and took all their food, and then the knife is, yeah. knife is left spinning. And yeah. then and then Lenin said Inception, and I started thinking, well, instead of the knife spinning horizontally, it's up on its end and it's spinning vertically. Ah. Like, well, shit, that looks really cool. And yeah. then it just goes, whoosh, and then just stabs someone in the jugular. I thought two more. That was actually pretty clever. It's this, it's this like really dirty, gross-looking guy, and he's got one of those gas. Yes, <laughs> <It's laughs> like, He's got a gas pump, and it's like pouring stuff into his mouth. And then after this that, commercial. it says "got a gas guzzler." Oh I'm like, that's pretty funny. Oh so my rolls. god, I've never yeah. seen that one. <laughs> I like the, I like the one. It's another law office, and it shows all these really terrible. Yeah, I'm um, sure I want that to be the name, just another law. And office. it's this really <laughs> terrible attorney that are talking about, oh, we're going to take this guy for all he's worth. And he's like, no, wait, he called this office. And then it goes, Dun! Dun! and all the guys go, go yeah. it, gets a, it gets a law and order on your yes. ass. Dun! Dun! Well, no, they actually got a guy from Law and Order in that commercial. What? Yeah, they got one of the guys, I think he was a judge in that commercial. I'm like, wait a minute. And yeah. he's the one that says, wait a minute. Was it Lieutenant they Dan? called the law office. Did they get Lieutenant Dan? No. <laughs> I said a judge. Oh. <laughs> and then and then they all just go real serious and upset because this guy called another yeah. law office to help. They go them. like cut the wrist. <laughs> they called him again. God damn. It's like it's like the ants from Raid. Those Raid commercials. They're like yeah. Raid. <laughs> they're, it's like, it's like yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna ta- we're gonna take this guy for all his worth. Let's do liquor sham. <laughs> that that yeah that is. No. I want I want the I want the guy the, the Lieutenant Dan guy. <laughs> 
they would be in one of them commercials and he's like one of them them <laughs> scammy lawyers and like before like, we're gonna take we're gonna take all of, all of his money and everything you're done done and then the guy turns into Lieutenant Dan and the other guy's like you ain't got no legs Lieutenant Dan and then Forrest Gump comes then up then hilarity ensues that, yeah, like, I, that was really I old I used to like the um, I think it was the Campbell's Soup commercials for the, for the ones that come in those the containers oh, yeah, that you can put that. right in the microwave instead of a tin can the one where the kids and, snowman no. no, 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 that one's really old. But no, it's a That's... guy. It's a guy in an office, and he's eating his thing of soup. And the guy comes by, saying, "Oh, change. We're getting new nameplates. Can I have your name?" And he goes, "Yummy, yummy." <laughs> so he comes in, and that's what his nameplate says. And he goes, and and he <laughs> sat, and he literally sounds like, "Yummy, yummy. Who's num yummy?" And it's just like Brian Campbell's. That was it. That oh. sounds familiar. And that was like one that. of my favorite that commercials I've dumb. ever seen. I just it like, is, I just like, num yummy. <laughs> I yeah. like. And the only reason why I like it is um, when Bob Ruth Ford <coughs> did all them them stupid like I hate those parody like, voice acting like commercials. The Obama ones. Yeah, and that that's horrible. That's what? the one I enjoy. Yeah, it was horrible. It was it was it was what? during the election, the la- the last election. Yeah. And the only reason why I like it is because uh, Kelly, who was our lunch lady in high school and was one of the nurses at at the Lutheran home, I would be downstairs and and we'd be talking. And all of a sudden, you hear, we got them their deals, only in Dillsburg. Yes. And then the, <laughs> then the really terrible Obama guy would be like, no, people of Dillsburg, we got them their deals, only in Dillsburg. Jesus and Christ. she would, like, fall out of the chair. She's like, Jesus Christ, no. And she'd, like, punch it. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? She's like, that's a terrible fucking commercial. I cannot stand it. Christ spoon. She can just like rip it out of the wall and throw it across the they hall. They did a ton of really terrible parodies. They did a Rocky one. Uh, yeah. They did a Terminator one, I think. Oh my I god. I feel like they did. And they then, should be Terminated. Yeah, they <laughs> should be Terminated. And then the, the worst one of all Terminator. was They're when terminated. they got a bunch of kids to sing with them. It's mm-hmm. like, everybody now. They got them deals, and because it's like it was, are they from Jersey? <laughs> they got them deals, holy Dillsburg. What the fuck that is? I got one more that I just thought of. It's the one. It's the uh, the guy, the spokesperson for Honda, for just like the local. It's not for any particular one dealership, one shit, or, but it's just like all of them. In the oh area. yeah, yeah. And then they the say the guy the sounds ones like his us. mouth is glued shut. And <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah. Time is running out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a little bit of time left to get your special pre-air Honda dealer. He sounds angry. Yeah, he sounds he's an angry guy. Time is he's running angry. out. He's angry because his mouth is glued shut. Oh, yeah. No, he really does. <laughs> and the, yeah. the only way his mouth can, get, right. can become unglued is if you buy all the Hondas. Yep. All I know the, I know which one you're Hondas. talking about because then at the end they tell you which one's near you. Yeah. You know, I got one. Um, whenever I get bored... Um, since I can't get I like I can't get written up because I'm the one that writes people up or something like that. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> that plan will never fall ever. No. I mean, so I do get in trouble sometimes. Um, I'll write myself up for this one. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know the Red Robins thing, right? Yeah. So I just shouted it out, and people all across like the um, Diamond Liner starts yelling yum yum. Yeah. Um, but That's the cool. most notable, someone was getting fired, right? And they're getting fired. <laughs> <laughs> it just so happens. They were getting walked out. And I'm, I heard the, um, the what's it called? Uh, the Hurry Games whistle. And then people started putting up their hands as it was getting walked out. And it was the funny, I thought it was the funniest thing. What? Yeah. I don't know what, I don't know the Hunger Games whistle or what you're talking um, about. It's like uh, the... Like the Mockingjay symbol when she puts up her hands. Oh, yeah. They started putting their hands up as, because, I mean, if you guys know. That's like a salute. I've never seen Hunger Games. It's like some guys start playing taps in the background. No. (laughs) Yeah. Raise their hands. I can't can't think of any other. that anymore. Like, it's all, yeah, it's all recorded. Like, the dude does not actually play it. Is there one dude who plays it? Well, there's a dude who will be there. I thought you meant there was like one actual guy. <laughs> no, the only no, guy he has to work every funeral. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you know what? Why doesn't everyone just die on the same day? You know, I actually noticed that. That'd person. be terrible. Where would you bury them all? Bury them all. Bury. bury. I just remembered something. I said bury. 
And that was, I used to be in Boy Scouts. Uh-huh. And whenever I Boy go, Scouts? Boy Scouts! I used to be a Boy Scout. <laughs> I used to be a Boy Scout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just scouted for butts all day. <laughs> oh, wait, I still do. Uh, that's that's Senior Boy Scout. <laughs> I have all the badges. Oh god! So many <laughs> all the butt badges. Oh my god! Uh, we anyway, Crick on our show. We should. We, you know we should. Yeah. We, we need to get Keith back on the show. Yeah, we should do yeah, that. Yeah, we call, call that. We call that episode. Like, Bitter and alone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Never mind. Um, but We're when I used to be in that track, when right. I used to be in Boy Scouts. This is something I just realized, and I don't know why I didn't realize it until just now, but a guy would, would like, get on the trumpet and start playing uh, the one to wake you up. Yeah. yeah. Rev- Revelly. Revel- Revel? Revelly. Revelly. Yeah. Radar. But they'd play... Choppers! They'd play taps <laughs> on the loudspeaker. Yeah. They'd have a guy who knows how to play that very complicated song to yep. wake you up. But a very simple and slow song I have to play on the loudspeaker. I feel like they lost the sheet music. So yeah. nobody can ever learn it ever again. They just have that one recording they have to work with. Like an ancient artifact. Oh, uh, yeah. There, there was one more. Um, do you guys know that commercial, I, I Need My Money, and I... I like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, I screamed it out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did a lot of screaming. Um, I yelled it out, and um, across the, the line, I think the... I don't know, the whole warehouse, I hear... Um, Call JG what we're oh, so kind of and the whole like like a couple people start singing it and then I put my head down because like yeah. they, they try to find like the source of the problem. Yep. And I'm surprised I look, like, you didn't get fired for that. No, because um What cause, warehouse do you work in? Um JG Wentworth. Assurance Solutions. Oh okay. <laughs> so it's, 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 that's why that was okay. My fa- actually, yeah. It's just a in warehouse those... full of lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> in, that, in, in one of their commercials, though, my favorite part is the woman standing by the side of the road and her car is cut in half from top to bottom, just cut in half. <laughs> and she's what? got two dogs sitting in the back part of it, and she's on her phone, and she's like, I need my money now, and her car is cut in half. <laughs> I think you need more than your money. It's yeah. just fucking, it's like, it's like a giant um, scythe or something just went... <laughs> Like a swinging one just went by and chopped like it right You didn't have out. a spelling of that sound you just made. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a, that's that's not not a letter. That's not <laughs> but now, one, no, I, I think you might just noise. be the unluckiest person I know. Because yes. you, like, the last time you were on, you, were ta- you talked about, like, the worst day you ever had. You rode your bike into an ocean? It was just <laughs> a, <laughs> It was just thing after thing. How do you ride your bike into an ocean? It was quite oh. a tale. Yeah. yeah. And then you messaged us on Facebook saying that I got stuck in a parade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A fire truck. Was like, it fire truck day? And I was like, that just figures, doesn't it? I just love that. It's, it's like, like a Brian fire Regan, truck It's like a Brian Reagan joke coming to life. That's it, fire truck day! <laughs> you know, the last time I was on here, um, on my way here, I lost my gas cap. Oh, yeah. 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 How do you lose it on your way? Um, I was putting gas in the like peace bitches. <laughs> I just I just imagine your gas cap like the the lid coming off and then you just go. Bloop, 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 bloop. No, I mean I was putting gas and Shut then up. I was eating a burger and then I looked it was gone. And then you realized you used the gas cap. <laughs> the bur- Somebody really needed that. Yeah, he's like, like pay it forward. Yeah. <laughs> now I just put you look down and the burgers like on top of the. Good. Can we make that a video short, like a Vine, <laughs> where where someone's like like getting gas and they're eating a burger and they look away for a second, they go to take a bite out of the burger again, and they're just taking a bite out of their gas cap and the burger <laughs> sitting on top of the yep. top of the the trunk where the the gas cap was, and they and it's like shop. <laughs> I was expecting like the surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> no. you, start taking a, you start taking a bite out of a person. Like, surprise, one person. Ah! What? Yeah. See, that's my favorite. You start part. taking a bite out oh, of a person. Surprise. That's what you said. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, you eat surprise, an apple and it's their head. You're at yeah. a gap. Here's a good idea for there a vine. If they you ever do vines for whatever reason. I'm just well, saying because it's a much. short video. It's like you're eating a sandwich while you're pumping gas, and somebody on the screen goes, Hey, look over there! And you're like, What? And it pans back to you with the sandwich, but your, the sandwich isn't there. It's and it's a guy you. with the sandwich over his head running away. So, <laughs> Hurry forward! <laughs> I like it. Me That's too. Um, actually, you know, um, I have an update. Uh, I had to walk seven miles in the rain. Like, cause I... Uphill in the snow? Yep. No, um, Fifth, now that's 15 miles. <laughs> and all you had for breakfast was... 
two olives, and for lunch you had a, a chocolate chip and a half. It beats my breakfast today. All right. <laughs> he had, we'll get on that later. He only had a half a chocolate chip. <laughs> no, I had a watermelon. Um, it just so oh happens I narrated it. Um, every time my battery percent went down, I would like write a little, you know, like two lines. And uh, people were like liking it, laughing, but they wouldn't offer me a ride. They were just, they were just, you know, <laughs> like, yeah, get hit by a car. You know? and, like, um, the one that's like, oh, it'd be funny if you stepped on a dead possum. And it just so happened that I stepped on a possum as he said it. So, yeah. <laughs> Bitch, thanks to you, I did step on a possum. Yeah, that's what I wrote. Awesome. I'm, I'm just surprised you're in one piece. Yeah, I've actually I've never broken a bone. Right he's before. actually a GI Joe. He comes apart and goes back together. <laughs> yeah. uh, he's, he's like Eugene from from Hey Arnold. Just bad stuff happens to him, but he's just so happy all the time. Is that the is that the guy that has the the head and the hair that looks like a can? <laughs> or <is> that... <laughs> what? He's got he's got a weird like a cylindrical shaped head. And the way his hair hair is cut, it looks like it looks like an open lid for a can. Sure, huh? Wait. Oh my god! I don't know what he's talking about. Eugene, hey, they caught war machine. Hey, what? And, what? In, and in Japan, there's plastic finger covers for you to wear whenever you eat chips. Okay. Apparently, there's some yeah. MMA fighter who was. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Okay. He was like abusing his. Girlfriend or something. Yeah, yeah. Whatever happened to the race what a car guy that killed a dude a guy. named War Machine who's an MA fighter? I thought you were talking people. about a Marvel villain. Yeah, yeah I was thinking so did I. I. <laughs> whatever, whatever happened to the race car guy that killed a guy? Tony Stewart. Tony Stewart. He's still a race car guy. They didn't do anything. He's with just him. killed a guy. Yeah. Just nobody fucks with him. Now. Well, they, <laughs> probably, they probably just passed it yeah, off. Yeah, it is ad. that guy. Yeah, that oh, team. that guy. Yeah, it Eugene. looks like it looks like his head is a fucking open can. It, I've always thought that too. <laughs> Why did you agree with me? Because I didn't know what you were talking about. Well, just... fuck you. <laughs> you guys sound like nice friends. <laughs> we are. I got a lot of tension. <laughs> I don't know I do why. Too, so whenever we get together, it's just a tension explosion. I don't drink enough of <laughs> any liquid. Oh. Especially alcohol. We well, should. So, Lennon, no, what, what? what are you doing today? <laughs> oh, yeah, what are you uh, doing today? Besides slowly dying. Um, <laughs> slowly dying. And very slowly. That's how it's nice. Today is the day of the, the Perkins Charge Challenge. Perkins Get Charge out! Challenge. Get out! <laughs> and I am hungry. What have you been right doing now. to prepare? I haven't eaten anything in about 24 hours. Besides Except watermelon. watermelon. Besides which was a lot do. of fucking watermelon. Why did you eat grapes? Because they said watermelon was better. Oh, and also, wow. watermelon suddenly appeared in my fridge when I read. <laughs> that's well, that's really I, yeah, cool. I read on the internet like watermelon is the best thing. Oh, that's cool. Opens fridge full, full of watermelon. watermelon. <laughs> so oh, good. hell yeah! <laughs> well, hopefully, that that there's no parents before. secretly listen to this podcast and they're like, "Hmm, what can I we guess. do to help him prepare?" Yeah, I guess. Let's we'll so. just buy yeah. watermelon. Wait, what's this challenge? Or what, what was uh, so well, I'm glad I've you been, asked because no one said it before. So I've been thinking more about it. There is so much cheese involved with this. What's thing. wrong with that? It's cheese. It's also cheese. Yeah, what's it's wrong with cheese? That is the plus and the minus. The yeah. plus, it's fucking cheese. Before, it's just, before it's we confuse poor one, cheese can even more, the Pinkett's Charge Challenge is a food eating challenge held at the Blue Gray oh. Bar and Grill in Gettysburg. What it consists of is two hamburgers that the buns are made of cheese sandwiches. Grilled cheese. Yeah. So it's grilled cheese, cheese burger, sandwiches. burger, grilled, grilled cheese. cheese. Yeah. And that's it. It's a hamburger oh, it's a, with the buns Here's and That's what I figured. Yeah. It's two of them. Oh, you got lettuce and tomato and shit in yeah. it, too. It's oh, no, two of them and that. four pounds yeah. of cheese fries. Hold on. And you have, like, half an hour to finish it. Uh, uh, you don't want to do that. Oh, yeah, he's bad at That's what he's going to attempt. Oh, my. I don't know. Fucking Christ. Those are bigger than I don't know. Uh, Wait, he's got to eat two of those sandwiches? Listen, yeah. that's not a problem. No. It's those, the fries. those are a breeze. And those no. are the chili right. cheese fries, not Listen, just cheese fries. Because oh, I don't I know if this was gone cheese. over chili or not. cheese fries suck. They do. Uh, Maybe fine. we can get just cheese. Fries. Listen, this is important, and it's not meant to deter you. It's just the fact, because my brother reminded me of it today. There have been over 200 participants in the Pickett's Charge Challenge. Uh-huh. Yeah. No one has won. I know. 
I like the sound. I didn't know it was two sandwiches. I only thought where we talked about. How many times have we described this? No, every no, week. You said, whenever you said for like two months. Whenever you said two burgers, I pictured it as just two pieces of meat on just one sandwich. But now no, I understand what you yeah, mean. See, I, I decided... See, I knew it was going to be something. I just didn't know what something. I, and I didn't know about chili cheese fries. Oh, man. I didn't either. See, uh, I only looked Makes this sense up for it to be chili when I was fries, looking though. for the links for the yeah. show. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that is a lot more than I thought it was. Yeah, because the way I'm hearing it, I'm like, that doesn't sound that bad of a challenge at all. But seeing it, now <laughs> I understand. Yeah. And that's, that's not like, you know, real thin white bread slice. That's Texas toast fucking bread. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And it's not like it's. Damn. There's like it looks like there's three grilled cheeses. Mm-hmm. One there of are. Burgers, yeah. Yep. Maybe that's what it is. It's just it does look like it's only three sandwiches. Angel has tried it. And four pieces of burger. And a couple of both of our friends have, have tried it, and obviously they have failed. Yeah. Well, Angel how came far close. They? Yeah. Well, Pickett's a bitch. Angel he's, came he's close. Dead and I'm not. So who? who but yeah, win? the the but cheese fries. Just don't yeah. throw up. We'll see. Angel came close, but the cheese fries killed him because he didn't realize that it was four pounds. Yeah, that's why I'm saying he, he was about the, three and a half in. And he ate the sandwich three first. Three and a half. He was he got that far. He well, probably not three and a half, but he got fucking close. Man, why? Are you, all right. You, uh, that's all right. why we say you also have start thirty minutes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, thirty minutes. Yep, thirty minutes. Damn. Yep, it's twenty-five dollars. Wes, do you want to split the bill? I don't have a job. I can't. That's not too bad of a price yeah. at all. No, it's not. Yeah. I you picture you more that. than that. Don't worry, it will be free. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. yeah, it is free if you win it, right? Yeah. I got fifty bucks until Tuesday. Fine. I was expecting. I was expecting that, <coughs> which is why I'm going to pay for the whole thing. Mm-hmm. If because I know you wouldn't free. do Great. that. Yeah. Great. Now I feel horrible. <laughs> I mean, if if I still had a job, then fuck yeah, I would I would pay for half of it. But I got fifty bucks till Tuesday. Because this is a monetary value that we must pay a person, potentially, I have to take precautions. You got a of fucking course. job now. Why can't you do it? Because I didn't want to be involved he's, with this. He's risking his heart. Yeah, how, how did he get the one? <laughs> yeah. How did he get picked as the one to eat it? Because he said. I he, said. he volunteered. Then why that you means he you should pay for it. I didn't want to pay for it. I said, I'll do it if you can't pay for it. I said, I'll give it a shot if I'm sponsored. Because if I always wanted to try something like this. And See, I, the reason... And based on previous after-comedy dinering events, I may have the capability to do such feat. The reason that this whole thing started to begin with is that I was listening to one of our old podcasts. The last one Caitlin was on, and I heard... Was it the last one she was on? Yeah. yeah. Wow. And, I, and I remember us talking about... That's when we mentioned it the first time. It's mm-hmm. also an animation. Shameless plug. Um, and that's when we were when you were just like, oh, oh, challenge. What's the challenge? I will take on any challenge if somebody sponsors me. And yeah. that's when Angel described it, and you were just like, what? Four pounds? Yeah, I didn't know it was four pounds. I I didn't even know. Yeah, it sounds like fun. Um, I just heard. Che- I just heard that it was cheese doing? fries. I didn't hear. I didn't hear that it was don't throw four up pounds. We're yeah. doing it now. I'm, I'm, I'll give you my bucket. I'm exhausted and hungry from not eating. I I, I yelled at the ladles at work today. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking ladles! You and your scooping shit. Yeah. <laughs> You're just small bowls on sticks. We're <laughs> going to film it for two guys going oh, adventures, man. so it will be a grand old time. Yeah. As be a I'll be there in offer. spirit. But I'll, I'll just be <laughs> I slowly start taking it. Stephen Hawking. That's a throwback. So what are you going to do if they say no? You have to have chili cheese fries. I'm going to live with chili cheese fries. Yeah. I would be okay. He's going to move in with them. It's going to be a new <laughs> yeah. sitcom on NBC. <laughs> Lennon and chili cheese fries. Yeah. It's going to be delicious. Eight thirty Tuesday nights. Yeah. Oh, there's only one episode because he eats them all. Yeah, well, but it's going to be that's, that's still later. one episode more than most NBC sitcoms. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's it. Right. You're gonna get you're gonna get five minutes into the show canceled. Yep. I will yeah. now distract you from Destruction! the impending doom ah! of all that ah! food because it's time for another edition of Today I Learned. All right, da da. We need a theme song. Oh, I just, I just oh, gave you one. Oh, oh, you oh, oh. That just sounds like a fucking cuckoo clock. <laughs> I can you need a grandfather's clock. Go for it. No, that Do thing's it. fucking loud. Wait. It's like, Wait, everybody I have stage, what about stage fright? I just realized I have stage fright. Oh my god. 
<laughs> like if we're all beatboxing, then I then uh, then I can do it. But it's yeah, I don't, I can't. That's my, <laughs> no, that's that just my sounds like a sprinkler. <laughs> <laughs> you beatbox with a sprinkler. <laughs> I mean, that's the fastest sprinkler I've ever heard. <laughs> It's pretty good. It's not a fast anyway, what did we learn around. today? Actually, I'm not gonna. I, We've learned nothing. <laughs> this is actually really awesome. So, yeah. I recently learned about a website called Fold It. And huh. this website so is. Teach you how to fold shit? No. Oh. Well, no. Teach you how to cut shit apart. How? Oh. This Say is, how to fold a cover sheet. Fold It is a what? game created by a group of scientists. I don't Fuck you, know science. which ones, but I can tell you. know those you, fun-loving people. <laughs> I can tell you it yeah. once I... <laughs> well, anyway, um, it's basically a, a uh, protein synthesis simulator. Hmm. Protein synthesis, for those of you who don't know... <laughs> Sounds like a great party game. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's, a not a, it's not a party until you break out the protein synthesis. It's a game... I'm going to say photos. That's it. Protein synthesis. Protein synthesis. Yeah, Protein yeah. synthesis. <laughs> now you're interrupting we're, we're, yourself. We're acting out SpongeBob with photosynthesis. Go on. Is a process, a very, very complicated process. Prostate. Uh, that's what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> Shut up! Oh, God! It's such a complicated prostate. It is. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't just, you just don't just poke it, you gotta tickle it a little bit. Oh, God. <laughs> you gotta figure out what it likes. Oh, Take man. it out on a All couple right, dates. I won't talk. <laughs> I find that hard to believe. Yeah. But go on. It's an incredibly complicated process. <laughs> Erica has her shirt over her mouth. In which proteins, which are like the the, the powerness that makes you exist. The power. The power. That's, that's the technical term too. <laughs> I'm trying to explain it in a way that won't confuse everybody. Good the luck. Thing that go on. You already confused no. us with power. Do you mean me? It's just yeah. the very basis of energy sources that your body <laughs> needs to exist. That. Okay, that makes sense. And run upon. And in order to make proteins, there are a whole lot of different proteins. <sighs> and the way they exist <laughs> is you got these two different shapes, and all those shapes are all folded in a specific way, and all those specific folded pieces mm -hmm. are arranged in a very specific way. So, so pretty specific. yes, one. Is this a game or like? This is a game. Okay. This is the basics. This is like Rachel Ray's game. Oh! <laughs> I watched an episode of Rachel Ray once where she's like, "We're playing a game called is it uh, called Going Too Far?" And I'm like, "Oh, okay, it sounds interesting." And it's like we're gonna discuss a fucking story and decide whether or not people went too far. It's like that's not a game. That's the view. You yes. dumb bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go on. Okay, so <laughs> so a bunch of these scientists, which it doesn't say which ones, but regardless, <laughs> they, They're refusing to be it's made. some sort of research <laughs> society of some sort, in which they're trying to figure out various ways that proteins can be used to fight against various Crime. viruses. <laughs> I like my answer better. And, Crime. um, I, I, what virus, we, I showed it to you today. The Joker. It was a virus. <laughs> yeah. Captain Cold. You you fold in the game. You fold these Captain proteins Caveman. together in order to figure out in, in order something. to combat against viruses. I got it. Ebola. That sounds cool. It's um what they they made it into a game so people could help them solve like yes. help help them cure certain viruses. Yeah. yeah. Ebola. <clears throat> yeah, Ebola is what they're working on right now. In one example that they have here, scientists were working seven years to figure out how to arrange proteins in order to fight a certain virus, yeah. the people on the website figured it out in three weeks. Like so it. they've been given the challenge of, help us figure out how to beat Ebola. So uh, just rearrange all these pieces of proteins. And when you do that, uh, we'll test it out and see if it works. I feel That's like cool. a lot more would have been accomplished if they would have just named the game... Let's beat Ebola and send it to Twitch. It's not. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Twitch like, plays Ebola. <laughs> <laughs> like 12 hours later, we figured it out. This yeah. is what you're doing wrong. <laughs> I can just imagine. It's like. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> look at his penis. <laughs> it's just a bunch of, it's just a bunch of like, folding pieces of, like, accordions and spirals and a bunch of stuff. Anarchy! Democracy of anarchy! Yeah. Did, you, did you, have you heard about the fish playing Pokemon? Shut up. 
<laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> it's hilarious. Do you want to describe it? Bird Jesus! Want? So a dude Bird hooked Jesus. a camera up to his fish tank with one lonely fucking fish in it, and uh, he split the view into nine quadrants, and whatever quadrant the fish swims into... That's the button that the fish hits, and it's the fish playing Pokemon. Did you hear about the, the parody version of that? No. It's even better. It's just, it's it's not serious in any way. Right. It's just a parody. It's called Rock Plays Pokemon, <laughs> in which they have a picture of a rock, a live feed of a guy with a, with a rock in his house that's got a camera up to it, and it's got that same grid, and it's just got the... It's just got red from Pokemon just standing in his house. I love that. <laughs> and that's all it is. <laughs> that's clever. I appreciate the cleverness. Yeah. I was hoping that it was going to be like a, um... I can't remember what the guy is. Who the guy is. I don't know. On YouTube. The, uh... Like, how to tie a tie. How to... How to how make basic. It. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. Where he just throws shit at shit. And Very descriptive. Yeah. He just takes a handful yeah. of shit and throws it at like, shit. <laughs> Rock plays Pokemon. He just takes the rock and is like sitting in front of the computer all of a sudden starts beating the fuck out of the computer with the rock. You're gonna beat the fuck out of the TV behind you. I'm pretty, just shook. I'm pretty sure that guy is naked every time he does <laughs> yeah. uh, the the um, the tenderized meat guy, like he wait. We're talking yes. about it's the, uh, same guy. Sure. Like, sure. Teaches you how to like how to tenderize meat. And he's smacking it into the gravel. He's smacking it into yeah. like, different things. Yeah. Oh, I love yeah. that one. Throws okay. a fish in a yeah. toilet. There, there, yeah. yeah, that's the one I saw. There was one called "How to Teleport," yeah. and it's basically he's just got a box of eggs, <laughs> and he just he he throws the egg on the floor, jumps, and then is somewhere else. Like first, like first he's um, he jump he's in his kitchen. He throws the egg down. He jumps, and it hard cuts to him in the bathroom. There's an egg in the toilet. He picks it up. Keep in mind, you like you can't tell if he's wearing clothes or not, right? Because it's just like his bare legs and everything. And he's like he picks it up out of the toilet, throws it down. He's in Walmart. There's <laughs> 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 an egg between the sheets uh, or some, the shelves. Sheets, <laughs> sheets. Yeah. sheets, shelves. You know. And suddenly he's in sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Putting oh, sheets. God. Oh. <laughs> hey, that's that's another annoying commercial for sheets. Where it's, where it's like the like the two guys teleporting it, facing places. each other. I'm a bird. You don't look like a bird. I don't know that and one. And he shits out an egg. Oh, yeah, and I've the seen guy that throws one. up. <laughs> I've never seen that one. I don't, I don't like the one where it's the three guys and the one guy is like... Um, They're like ordering? Yeah. And they all go to some new place? Um, fuck. Oh, I, forget, I, forget, I forget what he, what he wants. Macaroni and oh, cheese. It's the, it's the, the, the Schmiskit guy. And yeah, that's annoying as shit. Yeah. And he's like standing there, he's like rubbing his hands, like, what the fuck you rubbing your hands for? <laughs> <laughs> You're in a public building. It's probably warm or cold, depending on the outside temperature. What is this, 1946? And he gets teleported to his grandma's house. And he's Eating like, a bowl of macaroni and cheese. cheese style. Yeah. And then another one gets uh, taken to a place where they're having appetizers. Yeah, and, sure. and the one fucking guy that orders the frozen drink, he's yeah. just teleported across the sheets. Yep. And he's having a frozen thing with a fucking Yeti. Yep. Okay. And his scream doesn't even match up with what he's doing. Yep. It's poorly done. Yep. <coughs> so. Sounds shitty. Sounds <laughs> sheetsy. Ah. Aha! I'm killing I myself later, funny. so. <laughs> <laughs> Should um. we be done? So, um, Do you have a question? I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, it was it was kind of um, we said a, a poorly something poorly done. Yeah. Um, so I was bored at work, and it, as you I, <laughs> are pretty much all the time, it seems. I would be too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, actually, because uh, like it's it's really easy. Um, and so I do the things like, would you rather? Right. When someone's phone is really bad, I'm like, I give them a choice. Would you rather? If I like their choice, then you know. I, Give them the phone back if I don't. You're like Jigsaw. I want to play. I just go like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, would you th- Would you rather impale yourself and stick your phone in your stomach, or would you rather take out your eye and wipe all the the gunk off of your phone with your eyeball? Uh, Juan, continue this conversation so I can just <laughs> sit in my chair of wisdom and not say any more words. <laughs> I was like, where is he going with this? Me. 
Um, so yeah, um, one of the questions on there is, uh, would you rather, like if you're watching TV, would you rather the audio be two seconds late or the video two seconds late? Doesn't matter. Neither. Yeah. I wouldn't care. Well, I've gone through that too much. Welcome to editing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to video group cast. Oh, sucked. Oh. I'm sorry. No, I'm just saying, because uh, the, the way that it works is, um... If you pick one, I mean, it's an app on my phone. Mm-hmm. Like, I just pick one and then I'll hand them out, whatever. Um, and the one guy, he would, he refused to answer. He refused to answer. And so, I grabbed his phone, and um, I don't think I should be saying this. When this is over. No, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> fucking say it. Uh, yeah, I mean, no one's gonna, my, my supervisor is going to hear this. Um, so, I grabbed his phone, right? And uh, there's like there's a couple of things you can do with uh, certain Android phones, like it's debugger mode. Mm-hmm. Um, and so before you flash it, there's like <clears throat> compromising photos or. Um, so what I did was I put the like there's this like sample audio, and I put it on max volume. Um, it's like the when a phone rings or something. It's it's it's, it's dumb. And so I'm like, yo, you got you got to test this out. I think it's broken. So. Play, puts it in on, on his headphones. Oh. He uh, plays it and he chucks the phone. <laughs> and so I'm just like, yo, I'm gonna have to fill that phone. And I mean, to me, that was the funniest thing. But, I would uh, laugh. <laughs> he chucks the phone and it just splinters into pieces. Like, yep. oh, now you gotta buy a new one. Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, he cracked the front display, so yeah. It was, it was pretty funny. Stacy exploded. <laughs> Were you like. I uh, just swallowed my gum. Oh, Good job. Okay. <laughs> I saw that. That that was a very nice spectrum of, of expressions. It was like, wait, did I just? Oh, actually, something bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I actually, I actually had that happen last night. Not swallowing gum, but exploding. Oh, okay. Exploding Wa- watching watching a TV show that the audio in the in the, the video didn't line up. Um. I don't know if anyone remembers the old um, Navy show Jag. Nope. Definitely. I know the name, but I never yeah, watched it. Yeah, I know the name. Um, Fell in chief. It's it's a Navy show. It's it it was it I was mean. precursor NCIS. Okay. Oh, I know. It's oh, called, okay. For all people. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I know what you're talking about. And um, the the lead lead guy character is undercover as as a uh, a. Uh, Recon Marine, and he's training these guys, and they're they're doing their their last test. As I guess it is, is a controlled um, city, and they're they're having live fire thrown at them, and they're supposed to take out POW dummies, and um, the commanding officer swapped the radios, and their their radio wasn't supposed to work, and his was. Well, the actual radio carrier saw that, and he swapped them back. And um, they're trying to get a hold of the commanding officer, telling him something something happened, stop the exercise. And the guy that has the radio is saying, oh, I saw the commanding officer switch radios, and so I switched them back. And the entire time, the audio is, I saw him switch radios, so I switched them back. But his mouth is saying something completely completely different. Uh, yeah. And I don't know what it is, is but in Japan? It, no. <laughs> yeah. But um I, I feel like that it was something in the editing department because it was one of them like um generic uh Christian y type uh channels. Uh, and yeah. they they like censored out, not like they they bleeped it, but they did they just kinda like they, they took out the, the audio yeah. just yeah. that specific place. They, there was like no goddamns, no ass. There, there was a, there was a place. What would the world be without ass? There was yeah. a place oh, where, no where, where, where the guy said goddamn ass, yeah. and it was just, it was just really quiet, and he was like doing this, <laughs> like his mouth was moving, but it was just fucking silent. It's like, Man, that is a, that is a. What. His mouth yeah, I, I got concerned because I thought I went deaf. <laughs> because I'm watching it and it's still going and I'm like, nothing's happening around me. The, uh, That's crazy. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Hey, would you guys like to try a question? The would you rather thing? Sure. I mean, I've wanted to I wanted to play it on the show for a while. 
but okay. I keep forgetting. Um, Go ahead. Should I just do it the first one that comes that pops up? Or? Yeah. Sure. yeah. I mean, I, I warn you, some of these are. We like, have no filter. Obviously. Okay. Oh, don't forget. Last time you were here, everybody was racist. So. <laughs> yeah. And we're not, so it's all good. Good times. Yeah. Good times. We didn't have even Kyle. my camera. And, yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, let me. I'm gonna skip this one. No, no. Do <laughs> it. All right. All right. The question: Just are you racist? Yes or no? No, no, no. It's, yeah. um, okay. So it says: Would you rather never have an orgasm, but always make the other person orgasm, or always have an orgasm but never make the other person orgasm? First one. Do I still get to ejaculate? You, you never get to orgasm. Oh, oh man, that's, that's yeah. hard. Mm. Yeah. I'm a sympathetic person. I, I, I'm, I'm sympathetic, but one. I'm also that's selfish. That's an easy one. Yeah. I'll take I'll take the first one. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can take the first one. I'd rather uh, say number two, but you I'll guys, you number two, one. Yeah, totally. Um, it turns out, uh, 69%, 69, <laughs> said, um, said that the first one, and only 31% said the second one. And yeah, it, it gets, it gets crazy. Like, I can imagine. It's like uh, the game Cards Against Humanity. I don't know, I don't know how you, how people play it, it's just, I've seen it, and I know you just buy a pack of cards, and some up, you just match them up however you want. It's like apples to apples for adults. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> This is how the world ends. Waking up naked in a Denny's parking lot. (laughs) Perkins parking lot. My my favorite uh, combination for uh, Cards Against Humanity was when it was my New Year's party. Were you there for that? My New Year's party. And it was like all my mom's, my parents' friends were there. I don't And there was this guy who I consider to be old Luigi. He's got, like, was it, wasn't Dan and Amber there? Amber? Yeah, Danver was there. Danver. Danver. I couldn't remember. Amber. Uh, I like Danver. It's like Wilbur. Uh, and it's like, but the oldest guy out of the group, he's got like he he always wears this like lime green hat, mm-hmm. and he and yeah, and he's got uh, a white like big mustache, so I consider him the old Luigi. But regardless, right? Um, it was his turn to judge, and. He was any and the white card was was this is the way the world ends not with a bang but with he flips it over he goes some goddamn peace and quiet <laughs> <laughs> and he's like that already wins he didn't yeah. even look at the other ones I don't think yeah. I do like I'd like that. to buy that and play it sometime yeah. I'd never even heard of it till I just see I didn't hear about it until I didn't tell you exactly when I heard about it. Uh, it was episode 21 of Groupcast when, when Riley was talking about Cards Against Humanity. Oh. Because he, it's like, this steak is delicious. It tastes just like Majorna. <laughs> and I didn't believe him. I didn't believe that it was a real place, or a real game. A real place? A real place. That a, steak vagina said a real place. <laughs> I didn't believe him because he said that. Hmm. Have any of you guys ever seen King of the Hill? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you know what? Oh, 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 boy! Yeah, that was. Dale, I'll kick your ass. And tell you what. Yeah. Oh, my God. One of the episodes of Peggy's <laughs> being. Le- no, well, that's fine. Peggy's learning to be a sexual ed teacher, and she's learning how to say the words. And so she's looking into the mirror, and she finally gets to say vagina, but she screams it out. She's like vagina. And like heck, he's like whoa, and he, like he drops his stuff. <laughs> like the whole neighborhood gets it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> He just goes, whoa, and he drops his stuff. I think he was worse than, I don't know Push what he was doing, but he dropped it. Whoa, whoa, Hang it, no! Oh, man, that's on point. Okay. John Redcord. Yeah, my favorite reference is Pocket Sand. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, what I did was, uh, we were walking around. Oh, you broke his pocket <laughs> full of sand? No, 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 no. No, um, <coughs> we were walking towards the library, uh, my brother and I, and so I see like some gravel or some stuff. And I'm thinking pocket sand, so I grab it, right? And, uh, and he put it in his pocket. No, I didn't put it in my pocket. It was like a defense mechanism. Yeah, um, just in case he decided to attack. Instead, yeah. in case a midget <laughs> comes up to rob you, oh, something like that. And so um, I realized that uh, it'd be funny if I just threw it at my brother, right? Because. Why not, right? And so, <laughs> and so um, we're walking, um, and uh, we get to this part where there's like park. It's like a parking lot, but it's enclosed by this, like I don't know, like a small wall where I can jump over it, so I can get away. And so <laughs> I throw it at him. I'm like, I scream out, pocket sand, and he's like, ah, 
But I'm already going. Like I'm already running. So I jump over the first wall, and my brother, he's, he's he can do front flips and back flips, but I didn't take that into account. And so I I leap over the first one, and he's already, you know. Like, I, I can feel him. I don't know. I can't feel him, but I, I feel he's like he's so right angry. Away. He's already, like, three blocks ahead of you. Yeah, I'm like, I'm, like, I'm not getting away. So, like, I grab more pockets here. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, so, we both, oh, so, we both have, you know, we're, we're, like, we're, like, at a standoff. We're just there. And, um, but then it occurs to me that, uh, he has more than I do. Because, like, <laughs> I ran away from the, the, the sand area. Or the gravel area, and but he's like his back is right there, and so I'm like, let's negotiate. <laughs> <laughs> and so, um, I think he threw it down my shirt or something. I don't know, but that's uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't have was, much memory from that point on. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, something. I don't know. You Either just way, went into a blind rage. Why <laughs> 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 are you getting all this gravel? <laughs> and in the end, neither of us won. Because none of us are happy, but we're both happy that no one wins when in a sand war. No one wins. I <laughs> feel like I feel like you just described the U.S. government. Yeah, well, I think he did. We're we're all just friends at one point, and then we throw gravel at someone, and then they go to retaliate. Wait, no, let's negotiate about this. They attack us, we attack them. None of us are really happy, but we just go about our way because we're we got nothing better to do. I like to imagine that your world is exactly how you describe it. In which you throw sand at somebody, it gets in their eyes, and they go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know that wouldn't actually happen, but I want it to happen. Um, uh, so, some guy's running down the road, and he breaks his leg, and he goes, oh, no. I, I, have a job. I do have an instance where I... I just jumped up. I do have an instance where I... Um, where, like, ever something really bad happened that I didn't know would happen. So, um, I was laughing at everybody because they're slipping on the ice. Um, and I was like, you guys are all stupid. You should walk <laughs> on the grass because there's snow there, you know? And so when I go to step on the sidewalk, I face plant and I black out for, I don't know how long. Oh and so I get up and they're like, they're all looking at me. I'm like, I'm like, what's wrong? And they're like, yo, touch your face. I'm like, there's like blood on my hands. I'm like, ah, ah. And I start freaking <laughs> out. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> and then, but then I realize it doesn't hurt. So I'm like, you guys, am I okay? And they're like, yeah, yeah. And so, um, he just he fell in someone anymore. else's blood. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's even like, better. I was like, it doesn't hurt. I'm like, yo, is this, everything's cool. And so, um, but fell in a couple of packets the, of ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a, I have the reputation of being dramatic. So, um, my, we're, oh, by the way, okay, the setting is we're going to a martial arts tournament. Okay. And so my senses are behind me and they're talking about something, but I can't hear them. Um, they're talking Mr. Miyagi talk. Whoa. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand that that Japanese language. Oh no, they're they're, they're, um, they're whispering because um, they're plotting to one was gonna hold me down. Why is everyone one's... in your life so evil? <laughs> no, because um, they had to disinfect it, but I wasn't gonna do it because it, it burns and those things. I, I I don't know. I'm just a pansy when it comes to that type of stuff. Um, and so uh, so I'm wa- I open the door, and I the one gets me in a full Nelson, and the other one has like hands full of just like disinfecting wipes. <laughs> And just start slapping me. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's... I want someone to invel- invent a Nelson Envel- and a half. A half Nelson? No, a Nelson and a half. Oh. It's okay. Where I you just have a really obnoxiously long arm. <laughs> 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 so Steve! Steve, calls Steve, Steve, Steve can do it with his leg. Maroney's got it. <laughs> but, it the, but then it's called a Maroney and a half. He's <laughs> got to get real drunk. <laughs> Um, you can just hire not really. His, his arms are way too long. He's always at least half there. <laughs> Have you guys seen that picture where the guy is stretching out his arm and then somebody's standing here and so and then they're pulling oh, it down yeah. and it looks like it. Yeah. yeah. That's a great picture. It's time to end the show now. Wes. I think so. It's been almost two hours. Yeah. You've been almost two hours. Yes, I have. Group cast. But that. Uh, no, it's two hours. You've been almost two hours of... listening to group cast. The best I'd... podcast in all of. Cast. Erica's house. <laughs> and all of Erica's house. I just want to throw up. <laughs> Little do we know. He might be far... doing that an hour from now. Yeah. Little do we know there's a far better podcast going da- going on like in a garage. <laughs> <laughs> there is. <laughs> there's cats and they sit up there. Cat cast. Cat cast. Cats. One of them does King of the Hill impressions. I was just going to say one more. Boy. You guys seen that Omar Johnson cat? We're we're yeah, ending yeah. the show now. Oh, oh yeah. yeah.
That's old. Say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Dillsburg. <laughs> Groceries, everybody. God, I'm, I'm really killing myself this time. <laughs> <laughs> good night, everybody. Bye. Good night. Stop! <laughs>